All right, so brought a pair of transom wheels. It's uh, made for the Briss inflatable. Anyway, it's fine. It should work. So. Okay, nice big wheels, that's a good sign. Okay. So that's everything in the box. <clears throat> so you got some, you got two wheels. Brackets and you got mounting hardware. Nice thick bolts I like that. Okay. You got some single page, oh, double sided single page of instructions. Some very basic diagrams, blah blah blah. Okay, so you're kind of on your own. Whatever. So I will uh, open up these packages. I'll uh, put the boat on some pickle buckets or kitty litter buckets so it's off the ground and I can work on it. But uh, these, these brackets would go about there. So anyway, so I spent a little bit of time just taking some measurements. Um, and what I found was on my particular dinghy, um, there was a tow hook and our motor mount hook back here. So I just removed um, that from each side. So that was, you know, so that was through there like that. I won't miss it, but maybe there's a way to install it afterwards. There's probably space. So anyway, I got that set aside. Um, I was taking measurements. I want the wheels to be um, symmetrical to the center um, using the drain hole as my center point um, and using this overlap of vinyl here so I've got like an eighth of an inch clearance there I want them as wide as I can um, to give me better stability as I'm uh, pulling the boat so anyway but yeah so from this hole should be good. I'm going to double check the spacing one last time here. Um, and then we'll be ready to drill some holes. Yeah, so I'm limited to 0.34. All right, so we're pretty good there. I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna drill the holes. So kit comes with some hardware. Let's take a look at what we got here. We got extra extra lock mechanism. There's four bolts for one side. And there's four bolts for the other side. And then, let's see, you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got eight washers, so they want to see the washer on every bolt.
And then we got eight lock nuts. Okay, so we'll use a washer and a lock nut on each. I'm gonna start with a 964 spit. Got my Ryobi drill driver here. Okay, so I started the holes for location. Now I'm gonna punch them all the way through. Now I'm gonna drill diameter, proper diameter holes. We'll use the first hole to help <coughs> maintain good position. We'll do a quick test fit. Okay. This goes over here. Okay. The wheel shouldn't hit the boat. It doesn't. And let's just check to lock this down. Then that is how it would be when, when we want to roll the boat. So we'll keep going. I think it's time to put some caulk into these holes to keep them waterproof. So let's do that. I'm going to go, I'm going to hit each hole, both sides. And I think I'm going to go around the perimeter of this bracket too. Bolt holes first. On the other side. So, flipped my bolts around. Do it right this time. Torque a bit. Cool. I think we're, uh, we're good with that. So tomorrow I'll do the other one. Maybe I can make a more concise video of that one. Um, 
I'll apply all the lessons learned, of course. Um, cool. Okay, so, I mean, that's it. I'm gonna let the caulk dry, um, and then we'll put a little weight on the wheels probably tomorrow. But um, anyway, so those are the Transom, uh, Transom launch wheels from Briss. Um, my thingy's not a Briss, it's an Inmar. Uh, All right, so, got the wheels installed I've just lowered the boat down onto the ground and onto the wheels um, so <clears throat> can quickly show you but um, anyway you can see I've got just under an inch of clearance from the wheel to the hull of the boat um, yeah so I think the important things to know were obviously placement you don't want your wheel to hit the tube of the raft when it folds up. Um, you don't want the tire to hit the hull. So again, clearance, drilling your holes, be mindful. Often um, boats have placards. Mine certainly did. I had to navigate around this steel placard here. Um, not so much to navigate on the other side, but still. Um, so I'll still probably reinstall the motor mounts. Um, I think I can easily, um, install it, uh, horizontal instead of vertical with no, uh, loss of function. I can reuse the one existing hole and I'll add one more. Now these were the factory, um, hooks that came with my boat. Um, I had to remove them um, in order to make space for the transom wheels. Um, so all I did, I have rotated. This would have been down here. So it was in that hole and this hole that it's currently in. And I rotated 90 degrees. So should be great. Should be just as functional as it was. As it was. So it makes moving the boat pretty easy. I mean, the boat still weighs 80 pounds, but at least you're not carrying all that on your back. So I wanted to show you how the transom wheels look if I fold them up. So when I've got the boat launched and I'm in the water, Essentially, what I do, I think I have this right here. The wheel comes up. Okay, and this isn't the exact carabiner but um, just for display purposes hope you can see that okay okay so anyway the rope is just paracord like a 50 pound paracord wraps around here and supports the wheel pretty well centered with the outer tube of the raft. 
So water should be kind of underneath. Um, it should be mostly out of the water. If not, no big deal. It's a waterproof wheel. It's designed for water. But, you know, if you can keep the sort of axle out of the water permanently, or most of the time anyway, it's probably better for corrosion. Um, so anyway, but yeah, water should be about down here. So wheels will definitely get wet. They're made to get wet, but I didn't want the wheel to fold all the way up. I think that looks stupid and it looks like it'd be in the way, blocking sort of movement back here. So anyway, we'll try it. We'll see what happens. Um, that was kind of my vision for how this would work. So the, the other side would do the same. That's about it. Um, I'll put a link or yeah, I'll, I'll include a link to the actual wheels I bought um, so that it's easy to find them. They seem pretty good, um, but uh, again, you know, I got to give it a trial run in the actual lake. Um, I'm going to launch it at Lake Huron with a very deep sand. Um, it's going to be hard to get it in either way I go, but this should help um, quite a bit. So I'll let you know how it goes. Thanks for watching.